Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. You're familiar with our Fast Food Fridays, and now we are bringing you Takeout Tuesdays, random Tuesdays at 11 p.m. Central, whenever we feel like doing them. And today we have got one from Chili's, the secret sauce burger. We ordered this as part of their You Pick Three because on its own, this is $12.99. However, for $10.99, you get the burger and you get the fries and we got a soup and uh, drink with it. So you save a little bit and you get a little bit more. So that's a really good deal. It is. Really freaking good deal because here's the drink. This is a mango iced tea yes. or sweet tea. Something Mango like. sweet tea. Yeah. Now we got the um, soup is the enchilada soup, yep. I believe. Now there's no description of it on their website. So what is in here? Not a clue. Looks like chicken and something else. I don't know what, I guess we'll find out. Then we get the fries and then the burger has the secret sauce, American cheese, lettuce, and sauteed onions. I was gonna say the secret sauce is whatever the leftover soup of the day is. Probably, oh. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. And, and is this actually mango? Probably not. We'll find it's out. Like artificial flavoring. Yeah, so now it says it's an all natural 100% beef patty and we ordered everything default. So the default temperature is no pink, so that's what we got. And then we've got the fries. Now in Takeout Tuesdays, I show you how they present it to us. So we got it in a little clear container. The burger and the fries are all in the same container and there's no divider in there. Then you get the soup separate and the drink separate, obviously. So taking a look at this burger, it looks like a beast. This is gonna satisfy a hungry man. This is a big meal, actually. Yeah, this is a big meal, yeah. Look at this burger. Not only is it wide, but it's also thick. Like I said, it's a great value for $12.99. You get a lot of no, food. No, $10.99. Oh, I'm sorry, $10.99. Yeah. This is a great value. Exactly. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday grocery items, so before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now the fries, it's your usual fries, you yeah. know? As long Skin as- Skin on, standard fry. As long as it's seasoned well, I don't mind it. Yeah. And uh, let's take a look, because they didn't give me a straw. They did, they okay. did actually, really? yes. In our container, we had straws, I just didn't bring it in here with us. And they gave us some cutlery and some ketchup. The soup smells good. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Indian food. Oh yeah, you know what? I do feel like I smell like an enchilada sauce scent in there. Yeah. So everything looks good. Yeah. No, and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of secret sauce on the burger though. No, it doesn't. So I'm kind of like, wow, for it to be named the secret yeah. sauce burger, there's literally just a little spit of it. The thing well, is, Chili's, like it was popular, I think in the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Especially in the 90s with that commercial of theirs. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> That was really, should, I was expect, expecting some passion there, but you just, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to razzle yeah, dazzle people yeah, too much, you yeah. know. You don't want to, you know. Yeah, I yeah. just want to keep it simple. Yeah, I get it, I get it. So the thing is, like, the commercial was very popular because yes. they're baby back ribs and all that kind of stuff and the barbecue, barbecue sauce, right? Yeah. Was it the barbecue or the the sauce or the the, the ribs, like, that was... Well, I like, mean, the whole jingle was about yeah. the ribs, but then the ending was the punchy okay. little barbecue sauce. I never had the ribs. I didn't either. Yeah, let's go. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up, I'd again, thumbs up, we not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. So this is a thumbs up because if I'm a Chili's and I'm looking at the menu, would I buy this again? Yes. Now, would I go to Chili's? You know, like, would mm -hmm. I go to Chili's? Like, um, not really. <laughs> I'd go somewhere else, you know? I'm not trying to hate. It's just that this was okay. What I liked, the best part about it was the burger. The burger, the meat, the beef was cooked good. No issues. I think there was a lot of it. So I could just eat this alone and be satisfied. What is the secret sauce? I think it's like a barbecue type of sauce. Mm. That's what I think the secret sauce is. Wasn't a lot on there, but the little that I did taste, that's the, that's the impression that I got. Mm. That is barbecue sauce. Now my issue is the freaking fries. No seasoning, man. It was just very bland. Mm. The soup, the soup was actually subpar. Mm. 
I think this is just very like, just bland. There's a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, sauce you would call it in it. And there's just chunks of like tender chicken. And the chicken wasn't that seasoned that well. It was just very, just, just there, you know? And then the drink was a big letdown also because I was excited about the freaking mango sweet tea. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like a um, mango flavor, but I think it's maybe something like they like a pump a, a syrup in there or something like that. And on top of that, it's not a very strong tea. It's very watered down. Um, for $10.99, if I'm there, look, if I'm at Chili's, I don't want to buy a freaking like steak or because I don't trust them with it or or like a chicken, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like any of their more expensive items, I don't trust them to get it right. Mm. So definitely that's the reason if I'm a Chili's, I definitely would buy this again. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Okay. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down, down, all the way down <laughs> for everything, all of it. Actually, four downs because there's four items. Yeah. It's all a thumbs down. The drink, I guess I'll start with that first. I took a sip of it and I thought, wow, what the hell did I just drink? Because it was like the, the all of the flavor syrup was just on the bottom, not mixed up. And I took a drink and it was just a mouthful of that. And it was insanely intense so then i was like let me stir this up a little bit because it was also not cold at the bottom like yeah. like they just poured the ice in the top and it you know it didn't get cold so stirred it up after that it was like drinking very very slightly mango tea flavored water like it was watered down to like the 99th degree and then one percent of flavor that was a huge disappointment because I desperately needed something to drink after these other bad things, and that was also bad. Now the soup, that thing was salty as hell. It was also, like, I don't like that they put the tortilla strips, because there seems to be tortilla strips in it. They put it in there already, so then those are just soggy and nasty. Yeah, I didn't notice it. Yeah, like, it was not great, because Chick-fil-A gives it to you on the side. You put it in when you want to. The chicken in here, it was tender, but in a, in a way that made me question, why is it like this? Like, it was chunks of like tender chicken, yeah. but I think it's better if it's um, shredded. shredded, yeah. Yeah, but this- Also, it wasn't very hot. No, it was not hot yeah. at all. Well, which hopefully <sighs> we don't get food poisoning. Hopefully not, but here's the thing. It looked like there was a dollop of like unheated soup with like a little bit of like saucier soup around it. So it seemed like it had maybe been put in this container like way earlier in the day and just like sat there or something. I don't know, it looked off to begin with. Not good. Now the fries, also not good. They did not taste like they were made in decent oil. They were also unseasoned, gross. Now the burger, of the four items, you know, yeah, it was the best out of the four. Would I ever order it again? No. The burger itself, I wanted to like it. The meat seemed good quality on its own. However, every time I bit into it, it was like a gusher of like juiciness. However, it's not like hamburger juiciness. It was like water. So it almost seemed like the burger would have been like waterlogged or something. Yeah. I did not like that. I found it to be a little bit disturbing. So. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, you... I'm still not done. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the sauce, it did taste like a barbecue based sauce and it reminded me a lot of Chick-fil-A sauce, which also has a kind of barbecue -y flavor to it. So I feel like it's something similar to that. The lettuce on here, why on earth would you put shredded iceberg lettuce on the bottom of the burger? Because then it's just a soggy mess under there. I wish they would have just left that off entirely or given us a leaf of lettuce. The onions were okay. So I think the Chili's is a dying brand. I think Just like, somebody should have already old yellered it a while ago. So my theory is these kind of places in order to survive, they got to change with the times. They yeah. got to get away from the, the casual dining experience yeah. where you sit at a table and a waitress comes up to you. Yeah. I think what they need to do is 
just counter service. Counter service, yes. Yeah. I want to order it at the counter and just eat it at my table. Yeah. Yeah. I want to just go and get my drink. I I, I don't want a big production. Yeah. And when we were in the south, there was a lot of places like that, like a cafeteria setup mm -hmm. or. Um, and I'm not saying they should do a cafeteria, but yeah. like, you know. Counter service um, is the way to go for yeah. most things I feel like nowadays. Yeah, I think that's the thing, like Chili's, Outback, that's what they gotta do. Mm -hmm. Cause they're not gonna have like this whole like production and I think Americans just gotta like, if you're out there with your family on a Sunday after church or whatever, mm -hmm. just like humble yourself a little bit more <laughs> and go and get your food at the counter, right? What would Jesus or, do? Or yeah, he would get a <laughs> he would go out for a refill by himself. Yes. You know, he wouldn't he wouldn't bother somebody. Yeah. It's the Lord's day. <laughs> to sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.